Hi, so I'm Terry Main. Uh, I took care of the chapter on executive function in our book, Spectrum Women Walking to the Beat of Autism. So now we're at the first anniversary of the book being published, I wanted to talk a little bit more on the subject. So executive functions are a set of processes that have to do with managing yourself and your resources in order to achieve a goal. It's a collective term for neurologically based skills uh, involving mental control and self-regulation. And it's something that us autistics can find difficult. So to answer a couple of questions, what can you do to help when you're experiencing executive function issues? So the first trick I would say is to recognize it. You may feel you know, you're struggling to start a task. Uh, for example, you're hungry and you can't seem to start the steps that need to happen for food to actually reach your mouth. <laughs> Chances are you know you're struggling with something but you can't quite work out what. Um, and my advice, just stop. Just stop. If you can take yourself to a quiet, safe space, sit down, just breathe, um, and okay, your executive function's playing up today. Take your time, just be. Now, often when I find I take this time, I work out that I was trying to do the perfect job. Let's take the example of getting food. So in an ideal world, uh, I'm sure I would meal prep every day with the right um, quantities, the right macronutrients and whatever. But when my executive function is playing up, the priority changes. Just getting food in me is the priority and it's taking the simplest option. So if that means getting biscuits from the cupboard, then do it. Um, if you eat cereal straight from the box, so what? That's great. So just take the path of least resistance to achieve what you need the most. Um, and then importantly, how can we avoid executive function issues? Well, in short, it's not easy. It's a challenging aspect of our autism. Um, and to help manage it, it's key not to overload yourself with tasks. I myself struggle with this. I never feel like I'm overloaded. Just all of a sudden, I can become quite emotional, upset or unwell. And since I'm not good at feeling what's going on, I have to look at other skills um, that I have. So in this case, I revert to, to logic. I frequently check in and take stock of all the things on my mind. So all the things on my to-do list that I'm trying to achieve and when they're due. Uh, if this l list just looks really big and I can see that I'm actually struggling to do these things, then this is a big red flag for me. It may not feel like it, and I, but I can't necessarily kind of trust how I feel in this regard it, you know it doesn't trigger the alarm that I need it to so the risk is I could become overloaded and therefore I need to make changes before that happens so now I try to go to the gym every day well I, I try um, but in order to get there with like the right kit um, at the right time um, I have to do a very specific list of what I need to take so that I don't turn up like without my clothes which would be somewhat unfortunate. Uh, my list is quite detailed and I have a different list for each scenario. So like whether I'm going once or twice in a day, uh, as I need to pack obviously extra quantities of uh, change of clothes and shower stuff, etc. Um, and if lists are your thing, then use them or, or visuals or whatever you need to do in a way that works for you. Writing down what needs to happen in advance frees up space in the mind for processing the day-to-day. -day. Now, when you have the cognitive space, it's really good to look at priorities. Now, personally, I use a spreadsheet where I give each task a score of urgency, meaning when's it due, uh, and another for importance, like does this thing actually need to be done? And then I let the spreadsheet do the thinking for me. I have it hide all but the top three things. There's no way my brain can cope with like 50 items. It's just not going to happen. Um, but if I'm only thinking about the one thing that the spreadsheet is telling me to do first, then I'm in a much better position. And all of a sudden, yay, I did prioritization. <laughs> so if you're thinking um, you might be approaching executive dysfunction, if you can and feel comfortable, talk to a partner, talk to a friend, um, a trusted colleague or your manager, and just explain the situation. So um, some of you know, I'm an associate director um, for my day job and I'm kind of expected to have things uh, in order. 
But even so, when I can't seem to work out what I need to do next, I ask someone to you know, talk through it with me and it helps me get me back on track. Well, I hope these tips have been useful for you and I'll see you next time. Thanks.